Good morning to all of you. Welcome to Legal Matters by Sai Babu Sankara. This video is on the <coughs> case law relating to Sexual Harassment of Women at Workplaces Act and also exploiting the lady teachers by the headmaster, headmaster of a particular school in Talavakkam district of uh, Madurai area in Tamil Nadu. Actually, Justice <coughs> Subramaniam, his name is S. M. Subramaniam, while hearing the red petition filed by G. Joseph J. Sheelan, see, you remember his name, his name is Joseph J. Sheelan versus, and others versus uh, the Director of Elementary Education and others in WP Miscellaneous Number 4106 by 2022. Delivered on 10th March 2022, that is day before yesterday. Actually, this High Court judge expressed shock. It is shocking to the conscience of the court. It is shocking to the conscience of the court. That means they felt very bad. Register an FIR against the headmaster and investigate. Right. So, this is the direction given to the police to reach the case and uh, investigate the matter. Right, now we will go to the facts of the case. Better to know the facts of the case. Right, two lady teachers they have been transferred to, they have been deputed to a school in uh, Talavakkam district uh, near Madurai. Right, so they could not work for more time because they actually they complained that they were sexually harassed by the headmaster, right? They sent petitions or allegations to the district education officer and also to the director of elementary education, right? As a result or consequent to that, these two teachers' deputation was called off. That means once again they have to get back uh, to their uh, schools. They cannot, they need not work in the particular school where the at Bosch is there. His name is G. Joseph J. Sheelan. Right. This is only allegation. We don't know whether it's true or not. Right. Now, since their deputation has been cancelled, Mr. J. Sheelan, he filed a repetition before the Honorable High Court of Madras with the demand that they should be once again repatriated, once again called back. He made them as respondent numbers 5 to 6. There, the court found fault with him. Normally, you may be knowing, a TA school should run with some teachers. If there are no enough teachers, definitely they can ask for a deputation from some other area. So, if the deputation is uh, once again called back, they have to request the court or the education authorities uh, to supplement the same. That meant uh, to send two more teachers. But instead of that, this man has got the audacity. So the court has written like this. Instead of making a request to fill up the post, comma, the plaintiff has gone to the extent of impleading these two teachers as R5 and R6. So what is this? They should have asked at least to fill up the vacancies. It's not correct. Right? So the action taken by the DO, that is Deputation cancellation by the DO is 100% correct and they need not uh, go back uh, to this school. And secondly, since it shook the conscience of the court, the judge ordered the police to reach the case under <coughs> section 20, of course, under uh, the Sexual Harassment of Women in Workplaces Act. You may be knowing in 2013, after Nirbhaya incident, uh, this act has come into existence. It provides a Redressal mechanism, that is internal complaints committee, to vent out the grievance of the women who are sexually harassed by the bosses, by the colleagues, or by the others, etc. And please remember, section 28 of the Sexual Harassment Act clearly says, this act is in addition to, but not in derogation to any other law existing in force. That means, if the inquiry is being conducted at the same time, they can report the matter. So this is, FIR is not a bar for constituting an internal inquiry committee. So under section 4 of the act, normally they have to 
formulate a commission, a committee, and they have to inquire into the matter. So both FIR as well as inquiry can go side by side or parallel to each other. So immediately the directions of the court now are that uh, number one, the DEO should call back the TTS already has done it. And second is the police should reach the FIR. And third one is the internal complaints committee, they should conduct the inquiry and they should submit the report. Of course, that report is uh, regarding the procedural aspect of the teacher. As a teacher, <coughs> whether he has uh, done right or wrong. So as a teacher, if he does a crime, then the police will take action. So this is very serious issue. And uh, the important word is, it has shocked the conscience of the court and therefore the police are directed to register an affair, of course. The court also commented that the teachers, the two lady teachers, they do not have any conducive atmosphere to work in the same school. Better to transfer them. So the matter is posted to 14th March 2022. So whatever it is, so this is a continuing process. But the important point to learn here is that uh, as a teacher, as a respectable person, he should not harass the woman. Normally, what I assume is the reply from the headmaster will be, I asked those lady teachers to work hard to uh, submit their uh, lesson plans and other things uh, for which they might have got offended and uh, level allegations of uh, harassment against them also. Anyway, the inquiry will uh, come out. If the inquiry report uh, if comes, then only the truth will prevail. But as far as uh, this case is, for this part is concerned, uh, Please note that section 28 of the Sexual Harassment to Women Act does not bar the police to reach the case when the matter is pending. And section 4 deals with the Internal Complaints Committee and its provisions, functions, etc. If you know this much, it will be sufficient. Thank you very much.